A few days ago, we received one of the best ways to improve in Apex Legends. If you're on PC, you probably already know about the R5 Reloaded mod. A new addition was added to R5 created by Cafe FPS that gives us the ability to aim train. This is something known as the Flow State Aim Trainer. And boy, does it have some good scenarios. I'm going to review the Flow State Aim Trainer first, and then at the end of the video, we're going to go briefly go over how to install R5 Reloaded and how to get the Flow State Aim Trainer into R5. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, man, because this is definitely one of the best things to come to Apex. That's enough talking let's go ahead and load up r5 so when you first open the game you're going to be greeted with this screen uh, for some reason mine always opens up in windowed mode so after you've left that screen this is where you'll end up and here you can see that this is my alt i don't see to come out and say that he personally would not ban anyone for using this but he can't speak for his entire team um so it is just best to just make an alt and then uh, load up the game on that alt account on your origin um, from here and then you're going to need to go into your settings tab and then from there you're going to want to set all of your settings um, these are just like standard settings that you'd use in your gameplay and you're going to want to set your sense and any sort of key binds if you have anything different or your ads sensitivity um, again this is also something you can use on controller which is a really big deal for a lot of players because controller really doesn't have that efficient way of aim training but now they do uh, especially since this is a pc thing um, so and then you want to go to your video settings change your video settings and yeah and then you're good to go so afterwards apply that and once you have the r5 pack ready what you're going to need to do is you're going to go to select playlist select flow state aim trainer and then you're going to want to select your map i usually just do king's canyon um the aiming ones on this one for some reason like the bots get caught in the rocks a lot so i just use casey after that's loaded, it's going to bring you into this screen and here are all of your training scenarios. Um, I believe there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like 14 different scenarios. Um, not all of them are like great, but a lot of them are good, which is what's really been uh, important here. Um, so you're going to want to go to your settings. This is where you can change what your dummies do. You can have all the way from no armor all the way up to red armor and you can change the strafe speed. You can make the targets invincible you can disable the, the the timer by turning this to enabled um but since it's kind of like a scenario thing and i'm used to kovacs i usually leave the timer on and i don't have infinite training on i don't have play as dummy i don't know what this does but i'll turn it on um auto kill on reload you can have this one if you want but i used to i use um auto reload on hit so every time it hits uh, the dummy it will automatically reload your gun invisible targets you don't want that on unless you're trying to do a very specific uh, like aim train maybe first start warming up you want to set the bot to invincible you can do that uh and yeah and then from here you're gonna you can change your weapon the first section is pistols and shotguns smgs ars lmgs marksman rifles and hit scan weapons i don't i don't know why this is here but normally you want to have it on like hit scan or hit scan auto it doesn't really matter um to change your attachments what you're gonna want to do is you want to want to right click on it and then you're gonna left click on the attachment you want so like you know if you want a red dot on a car with a purple stock and a purple mag that's exactly how you do that close out of that you can just escape out and end you back here to change your legend you want to go here um you can play octane which is actually kind of cool because you can get used to like uh using your stem and strafing which is really nice uh so i guess i'll go ahead and use him i haven't used him yet and let's go ahead and check out some of these challenges so i think the most important ones that you want to pay attention to are going to be strafing dummy, target switching, uh, popcorn targets, close fast strafes, smooth bot. Um, I don't really like this one that much. It's it's kind of weird. It, it makes the dummy like tap strafe in a very odd manner that like PC players don't do. Uh, arc star practice I think is incredible. Uh, grenade practice I also think is incredible. Uh, shooting Valksalt is also really useful, especially with the nerf. Um, shooting from lift. If you're a horizon main like I am, this is definitely one you're going to want to do. Uh, skydiving targets and running targets. So realistically, the only ones that I would stay away from are uh, Tile Frenzy, floating targets, it really isn't that great. Um, and fast jump strafes you can do, but this is, this is like probably in like one of the least ones that you can do that's worth doing. Okay, so we're just gonna briefly showcase each of these scenarios. That way I don't take too much of your time up in the video. I'm just gonna briefly do like a, probably like 10, 15, maybe 20 seconds of each scenario. That way uh, we can go ahead and show how to get the aim trainer afterwards. So first off, let's start off with strafing dummy.
Circuit switching is honestly one of my favorite ones, so let's go ahead and check this one out. I'm gonna come back for popcorn targets. Let's go ahead and get into close fast strafes since I already have an SMG. Uh, a few of these scenarios I do suggest you use an AR on, so we're just gonna stick to the SMG ones real quick. Next, we're gonna check out this Arc Star scenario, and honestly, this one's really fun. Uh, I think it's really good practice for like learning how to line up your Arc Stars. And clearly, a Shinobi with the Shuriken. I think that's pretty much it for the SMG scenario. So let's go ahead and just grab a rifle real quick. I'm a big flatline guy, so uh, we're just gonna stick to the flatline. Again, so here's the popcorn targets. You can't use it with the SMG, but it's kind of a fan of doing it with the ARs. Okay, so next we're going to talk about smooth bot. I think this one's just really good to keep your aim nice and smooth when changing directions. Basically what you want to work on is like whatever it's moving, you just want to keep tracking it smoothly. You don't want to have any erratic aim. It's also good to focus on strafing while doing it. Yeah, that's that one. <clears throat> over these last three scenarios real quick so here's the valk one uh basically like she basically launches up in the air try to get the kill pretty simple uh here's a lift one for us horizon mains uh just sends you up you don't have to do anything You just track the targets. So you just focus on smoothly tracking each target. And yeah, it's pretty simple. If you play Horizon, you know, really not that hard. Here's the skydiving targets one. Uh, catch people on like jump towers, Valk alts. Yeah, very straightforward. Lastly, we're just gonna check out the running targets. This one's good, you know, in case you see people out in the open. Um, good practice for what you would do in that scenario. Honestly, I can tell that like, doing this has made me more conscious about what I would do in game. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay, now that we've briefly gone over each scenario, let's talk about how to get R5 and the Flow State Aim Trainer. Okay, like I said earlier, this game is going to be run through Origin, so you do need to make sure that you have the Origin Launcher if you're playing on Steam. Next, you're going to want to come to this Discord right here, which is the R5 Reloaded Discord, and you're going to want to go to the Instructions tab. Uh, here, you'll see all the downloads and all the websites you're going to need. Uh, and the first one that you're going to need is going to be for BitTorrent. I've already got it open, and you're going to download this right here. This is what it will look like after you already have it downloaded and you're going to want to push this, I believe, and you're going to copy and paste this command right here. Um, I, I think it's a link or a command uh, into the box. 
that's going to start the download and then you're going to, going to want to set the folder that you have the download to um that way it knows where to install basically you know that it's done uh whenever you go here and it should say like open yeah open destination folder it should say open file location one of the two um one thing that you're going to do whenever you're downloading this is i believe you need to click uh this one right here if i i, I don't know for you guys but for me mine downloaded started off downloading really slow uh so what i did is i just added like two or three extra zeros to this uploaded download speeds on, on all of them because i have gigabit internet so that's definitely something you might want to try out if yours is downloading pretty slow um and after you do that you should have r5 loaded or you should have r5 available um but you're going to need to change some files around uh and again all of these links are going to be in the bio uh you need to get this right here and you need to download both of these and what you're going to do is you're going to copy all of this right here into this folder into your r5 folder so for me right here you're gonna get all this right here all these files right here and you're just going to drag all of that over you're gonna get this message right here and you want to make sure that you just click replace and file destination i believe you can set it to do it on all of them i'm not sure uh but then after that after you've done all of that you have r5 and you can now load up r5 but that doesn't necessarily give you the flow state aim trainer so what we're going to do next is we're going to go over how to get that real quick. Okay, so to install the uh, flow state aim trainer, you're going to want to go to this link right here, which I'll have in the description. I'll have labeled it correctly for you guys. Uh, you're going to want to click code right, or code right here and then click download zip um, right here. You're going to also want after you do that, you're also going to go to initial release. And I believe you're going to download the aim trainer require files. I don't think you need these three, but you might actually need them. Just download all three of these files right here. Okay, so after you have your R5 Aim Trainer zip available, you're going to want to go into your R5 folder right here. You're going to click platform and you're going to go into scripts. And all you're going to do is you're just going to delete all of this and then replace it with all of this right here. You just drag it all over there like that. Uh, I, I don't need to do it because I've already done it, but uh, that is the first step that you're going to do. Okay, so after you've done that, you're going to want to click platform right up here. <clears throat> And then you're going to want to down or grab your little playlist one that you have right here and you're going to drag this into there and just replace the playlist that you already have in there after you do that while you're in here you're going to create a new folder labeled resources and then from there you're going to create one named ui after you've done both of those you're going to grab this hud scripted map res right here and you're going to just drag that into there okay so after you've done that you just want to click the r5 reloaded thing again here at the top you're going to want to go into your packs folder and then win 64. After you've done that, the last thing you need to do is you need to take your aim trainer R pack right here and just drag that into here and then you're done. You can load up the game and you'll have the aim trainer. Now you have the flow state aim trainer. If you found any of this information helpful, I'd appreciate it if you'd leave a like on this video as it helps push the video out to more people. If you want to further support the channel, smash that subscribe button and turn on post notifications that we get notified every time I upload a new video and I'll see you guys in the next one.